Uh, thank you, Concorla. Um, I welcome the opportunity to speak today on agriculture. Agriculture is the backbone of the Irish economy. It and its associated services underpin this uh, country's survival during the catastrophic economic crash of 2008. It's uh, now fundamental to the survival and prospering of rural Ireland. In County Limerick, dairy farmers are hurting due to the ongoing low milk prices. However, the same product continues to maintain its pricing to the consumer. The pricing crisis is due to factors such as increased supply and geopolitical developments which have arisen in the past year. The removal of the Russian market and the devaluing of the Chinese currency are all contributing factors to this dynamic. Meanwhile, materials involved in production such as feed products, fertilisers and silage sheeting have all maintained their price if not increased. All of these materials de depend on oil and production. Why are low oil prices not reflected in the price to the farmer of these products? There could be exploration of open book agreements in which commercial margins may be agreed and index linked to fluctuations in the market. Open book agreements are not a new concept and already take place in other supply chains such as the IT sector. I welcome the agreement secured to export Irish beef to new markets outlined by the Minister. I believe if conducted properly we can compete and beat any country in marketing our produce because it's the best. We have a massive diaspora with so many Irish people in key decision-making positions in politics and industry that can be utilised and coordinated to allow us seamless access and build new international relationships. Locally, there must be an exploration of initiatives in helping alleviate financial pressures on farmers due to the low milk pricing. Current planning laws in the likes of County Limerick require evaluation in exploring the option of freeing up farmers to sell sites to pr prospective buyers looking to settle in rural locations. The current planning guidelines were born and are in situ since the time of the building boom over 10 years ago. They do not mirror the current happenings on the ground in the likes of County Limerick. The liberalisation of these planning laws would make it easier for more people to access a place in rural Ireland, thus enhancing the communities. It will also offer the landholder an option of selling sites to offset against current financial stresses. I believe this debate is required immediately. It is also mentioned that farmers are being encouraged to make their submissions online to speed up uh, payments. but. Unfortunately, the access to rural broadband is not adequate at this time. A positive inspection environment for the agricultural sector must also be encouraged. Inspection bureaucracy must be examined in a lean approach with a view to removing any surplus criteria. The continued development of a positive communication style from the authorities to farmers must also be encouraged. Finally, I'd like to agree with previous speakers on mental health. We must be mindful of mental health in the agricultural sector. The current economic challenges coupled with other factors can greatly affect a farmer's mental health. Farming life lifestyle can be complex, it can be a complex area, and for some it underpins their social inclusion, and if removed will have, will have a devastating effect. But ironically, however, for others, that same lifestyle itself greatly impacts on their social isolation, and is an area that we must also be mindful of with a view to solving. Thank you, Concorda. Uh, Deputy Neville. Now, she and Cade.